fans took to Twitter to express their sadness with the hashtag Save Versailles series. Versailles season 3 came to an end on Monday, August 6 on BBC2. One fan wrote, What do you mean there's no Versailles season 4? And what am I supposed to do with my life without it? Don't disappoint me Netflix please save Versailles series another added, please bring back Versailles for a season 4. Louis XIV reigned for over 70 years so surely there is plenty of material? The three series on BBC2 have been fantastic, since series 1, episode 1 inch. Versailles followed the story of King Louis XIV, played by George Blackton and his controversial reign before and after he moved his court from Paris to Versailles officially in 1682. The show loosely traced historical events with a dramatization of the secrets, lies, infidelity, brutality and politics that surrounded the aristocracy in 17th century France. King Louis is the longest reigning monarch of a sovereign country in European history, reigning for 72 years between 1643 until his death in 1715. Louis began his absolute monarchical rule in France in 1661. Season 3 focused on the height of his reign in the 1680s, where he had complete authority over the church and aristocracy in France and was the leading power in Europe. Is season 3 the last series of Versailles? Why are there no more seasons of Versailles? It was rumored that the show was cancelled because of the decreasing number of viewers. The show also received attention and some criticism from fans for its raunchy scenes. Actress Jenny Platt who played Jean, Louis X. Fies Shoemaker but also a strong woman who was the voice for the impoverished people of Paris, spoke exclusively to express a call. She said, I remember when I was watching the first couple of series at home I was a bit like oh this is a bit racy and now actually when I'm watching it I just think well it's fine. It is just boss, just boss doing things and I think French people find it quite weird what a massive splash it made when it first came out. People were up and arms about how racy it was and people in France were like I don't understand, it is just boss, people have I don't understand? However, Versailles came to a natural end. How accurate is the sex in Versailles? The real reason was explained by Fabric de la Patelier, had a fiction at Canal Plus, the French channel behind Versailles. Patelier told Variety, the series was meant to chronicle the coming of age and rise to power of Louis XIV and show how he built Versailles to quarrel his nobles, asserting his absolute power. At the end of the third season, Louis XIV has achieved absolute power, he's 46 or 47 years old. So we reached the end of the narrative arc that we had envisioned for the series. The final episode was titled The Legacy and Lewis referred to his own legacy repeatedly throughout the final episode. Historians debate over the impact of Lewis's reign, some arguing his reign set up the foundations for the French Revolution that occurred 80 years later. The final episode saw a failed uprising from the people of Paris who were all shot dead on the streets. On the other hand, Historians such as François Blush attribute Louis' reign to important cultural and political movements that were responsible for the birth of modernity in France. Who is François in Versailles? Platt was lucky to feature in the final shot that was filmed for Versailles. She said about the show coming to an end, I think this had been quite a big experience for everybody involved in it and you could feel that at the end. Everybody was very emotional but French people liked to party. So that was good. I think people were very sad but also you could see everybody was very proud of the work and the actors who had been in it for three years. They were all saying they are going to miss it hugely but at the same time, they think the producers are right. Actually the story of King Louis after this point is kind of less interesting. So you have got all this story as far as it can go but I think everybody feels quite happy that it is the right time, the right time to end it on a high. Platt's character Jean was shot in the final episode after her employees tried to assassinate the king which was part of the show's explosive ending. In the last episode, unrest on the streets of Paris came to a head as a plan was made to assassinate the king when he visited the people to bless them. Louis cared so much for his legacy and wanted to solve the country's problems but did not recognize a way to do this would be to lower the high taxes placed upon them to fund his wars. Jean wanted an end to the reign of Louis XIV, much to her brother's anger. Jenny said, she's interesting for the time I think. I'm quite impressed that they did this at Versailles as well taking a character that I think traditionally it would have been a man who would be the agitator and or stand up the king and they have given that role to a woman which I think is great. I am sure they must have existed and especially when you are talking 100 years later and the French Revolution, the women were heavily involved so I feel like Jean is kind of the first rumblings of the French Revolution. If Jean had survived the massacre, 
Jenny hoped her character would become a revolutionary. She said, if there was another series I guess I would hope that somehow she had managed to go underground, get out of Paris, go underground and take with her some of her workers and maybe start like a secret network of infiltrators and people who are going to start something like the suffragettes who want to shake things up a bit and start an uprising and get people on the people's side. You can catch up with the finale of Versailles on BBC iPlayer now. I think that would be cool. You can also watch the previous two seasons of Versailles on Amazon Prime by signing up to a month free trial or purchasing a season for £11.49. Season 3 is expected to drop on Amazon Prime in the coming weeks now that the show is finished airing on TV. Versailles Series 3 and 1 to 3 box set arrive on DVD August 13th.